Oh, fish on. This feels like a pretty good fish. Holy cow. Yes. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and today I'm gonna to be fishing with one of the coolest fishing gadgets that I've ever seen. And here it is guys, it's called a pocket fisherman and this has actually been around since the 70s and believe it or not, I'm just now finding out about it. So when I saw this on Amazon, I knew I had to get it and give it a try because it is a pretty weird, interesting little fishing device. It folds up into this really compact size and it came with two lures, this little inline spinner and a spoon. I think I'm gonna try out this little spinner for just a little bit and switch over to some of my favorite ultralight fishing lures. But needless to say, I am, incredibly excited to see how this thing performs. To use this thing's size factor to my advantage, I'm gonna be fishing in some of these more difficult to fish areas with a traditional fishing pole to hopefully uh, highlight some of the benefits of this tiny form factor. All right, first cast. I'm uh, pretty interested to see how this goes. That was a fail. It went a total of five feet. Oh, okay. Second cast was a lot better. I think I got about 30 feet out there. And I'm snagged, okay. Not the start that I was <laughs> that I was looking for. I've got one of my favorite ultralight crankbaits tied on this little Strike King square bill. A little bit more confident in this lure. My accuracy is not very good. Fish on, fish on. Yes, you guys, I got my first one. Baby bass. Oh, see you later, buddy. Well, I finally caught my first fish with this pocket fisherman. It's definitely not the best fishing pole out there, but at the same time, it's not trying to be. This is a convenient little gadget that you can leave in your car or just have with you to go fishing. So in that aspect, it's a really neat little tool. Oh, fish on. Yes. Nice bluegill. Woo. See you later, buddy. Whoa. Fish on, fish on. Another baby bass. See you later, buddy. Oh, holy cow, this guy hit it right in front of me. Yes. Oh, settle down, buddy. It's a cool looking sunfish. There's a fish. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Yes. <laughs> Biggest fish on the pocket fishing pole so far, guys. See you later, buddy. 
I started off with that little spinner that came with this. I lost it almost immediately. Then I switched over to my Strike King square bill. I did not have any luck with that. So I ended up tying on this cheap little Bass Pro Shops crankbait with a single treble hook. And this has done really well. So as far as my retrieve goes, uh, you can't really do much with this fishing pole. So it's just a basic steady retrieve. Pretty simple retrieve. And that is getting annoying. I don't know how that's happening, but I'll cast it out and all of a sudden the bale or whatever will close and the lure will stop going out. Oh, fish on. This feels like a pretty good fish. Oh, it's a bass, I think. Holy cow. Yes. Holy cow. See you later, buddy. I think that last bass was a perfect fish to end this video on. And some final thoughts on this pocket fisherman. This is definitely a neat little gadget. For you guys who are out there traveling a lot and want to keep a fishing pole in the car, I would highly recommend this thing. It uh, takes up almost no space at all, and it is capable of catching fish. It's not the best, but uh, it definitely can catch some fish. So I had a lot of fun fishing with this today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. Oh, I just got water in my boot. No. Oh, it's cold. Oh my God, it's cold.